everyone, Vic with the Token Minorities. Joining me today is uh, my dear friend, Jolt. Jolt. Hello, and friends. This guy. <laughs> Panda in the <laughs> background. Rest in peace. You killed we Wombat. We killed Wombat. <laughs> and we're back. We fixed him. <laughs> yes. Okay, so, we are here today with a very exciting announcement. As you can probably see from the title of this video, we are officially opening registration for the second annual Token Minorities March Madness... Tournament! Tournament! Yeah, tournament! In March. <laughs> it's also quite mad. Um, so before we get into that, just a quick reminder that we are still running our charity campaign. Um, we are very, very, very close to our personal goal of $250. We're like $20, $30 oh, away. Not far off so at all. It's very, very close. We've also received about $30 of direct donations. So there's going to be a link in the description for you guys to go and donate money. All the money goes to Extra Life Gaming Charity. Link to them uh, in the description as well. Um, you guys are already doing amazing, but we'd really love to see if we could break maybe $300 composite. That would be incredible. I want to write a nice big check to them at the end of the day. However, that is all the begging that we will be doing in this video. Um, the important part is that we are opening up the Token Minorities March Madness tournament again. For those of you who were with us last year, pretty much everything's going to be the same. For those of you who are new, this video will be a full breakdown of everything that's going to be going on. So uh, make sure that you stick around for the whole thing because there is a lot of information and we don't want to we don't want you to get lost along the way because this is a lot of fun. The basics, it is an XY Aorus Wi-Fi tournament. Never fear if you do not have Aorus because what we're going to do is lump everyone in pool play per game. So you're either going to be in a group of people with all XY or people with all Aorus. Then at the end of that, we'll look at how things go and we'll probably just kick Aorus out um, so that everyone's playing on X and Y. Because I mean, everyone has X and Y. Aorus is a little bit more sketchy. So everyone will be playing probably in X and Y. However, if you're playing on Aorus, you're going to be playing by the Aorus standard Smogon rules. If you're playing on X and Y, you're going to be on the X and Y standard Smogon rules. And all those rules will be linked in the description. All those rules so will be linked. Sure take a look at that. That said, all the standard clauses will apply. So Sleep Clause, Evasion Clause, uh, Species Clause, uh, Endless Battle Clause, Movie Oko Clause. Oko Clause. Oko Clause. Mm. Mm. Um, the st uh, you'll be playing with a standard team of six, unless you are just that cocky, in which case... <laughs> more power to you. <laughs> right on. <laughs> and the standard bans apply, so... For X and Y, no Aegis Slash, no Genesec, no Mega Lucario, no Kangaskhan. For Aorus, no Mega Ments. Probably no Mega Bro by the time the tournament starts. Mega Bro, you mean Mega Bro isn't suspected yet. But Mega Bro should leave. <laughs> no Mega Gross. Um, something else is one of the things. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. So, yeah, we'll have all those rules explained in a video on March the 4th, which is when registration closes. But that's all for the standard rules. Anyway, um, so if you do plan to join this tournament, we do ask that you uh, EV train and IV, IV breed your Pokemon. Um, I believe that most people that are in this tournament are going to be pretty experienced at the game um, and will know how to EV train and IV breed. So if you do not do that yourself, um, I highly recommend that if you want to sign up, you learn how to do that before the tournament starts. Uh, we will post a link um, on how to do both of those in the description and also probably as an annotation to this video. Yes. Um, so definitely take a look at that. And if you have any trouble with that, feel free to send us a message and we'll gladly try to help you through it. Um, we're so, good at teaching. Yeah, we are. <laughs> um, so yeah, make sure to do that. And uh, as for the power save devices, um, we are going to allow the use of those. Um, however, the catch is that you must legitimately create these Pokemon. For example, the uh, Pokemon that you create cannot have more than 510 EVs total, cannot have more than 255 EVs per stat, um, etc. Um, obviously, the other methods of using that device are okay as long as you are not making illegal Pokemon, essentially. Yeah. Also, keep in mind that if you do make things illegal, they will very likely not be allowed into a Wi-Fi room. So if yeah, your Wi-Fi room just yeah. decides to crash out on you, it's probably because one of you done did cheat. Yeah. So <laughs> don't done do cheat and everything should go swimmingly. Yeah. Um, and also, as far as the tiers are concerned, tiers will be locked at the beginning of the pool play uh, round. So again, as soon as pool play begins, if something gets banned during the pool play time period, it doesn't matter. We're going to stick with what the tiers are at the beginning of pool play. And then at the end of pool play, we will likely shift the tiers to whatever the new current tier system is. Um, and that will, be, well, that will apply for the entirety of the bracket round, uh, which will follow the pool play round. Exactly. Okay, so how do you register for this excellent tournament? I'm sure you are asking. Uh, registration will start as soon as this video is live. Um, and we'll go for exactly two weeks, ending on March the 4th, probably at like 5 p.m., but we're not going to be stickless. Um, so what's going to happen is uh, he'll explain how to actually register. I'm going to explain the general structure. So on March the 4th, once registration is closed, we will generate the pools, because unless we have exactly 64 people, we're going to have to do pool play to limit it down to 64, and also to get out any inactives, because I know that some of you will sign up and then forget, 
or will be busy or something. So we will play pool play as lumped by game and to a point by time zone. We'll get it down to a bracket of 64, which will then be a single elimination bracket. Um, and so there will be lots and lots of matches then, and there will be a, a loose schedule that will help you guys out. The quarter, the quarterfinals, the semifinals, and the finals will not be played as one match single elim. They'll be played best of three single elim. So it is strongly, strongly advised that you have multiple teams, or one team that is just that good. <laughs> Alright, so how to register. What you want to do to register for this tournament is to leave a comment on this video. This video only. This video only. That indicates your friend code for your X, Y, or S. I know it's all the same for every game uh, in the 3DS structure, but uh, leave your friend code in the comment as well as your in-game name, your time zone. This part is very important because we will be grouping you by time zone um, just as we did in the Summer Showdown tournament this previous summer. That was so much fun. Um, it was very fun, but yeah, make sure to leave your time zone. If you don't leave, uh, that information is going to make things very difficult for you and your opponents. Um, also, leave your Skype name if you have one. Um, we have intentions of adding everyone into a group chat um, on Skype such that we can send you all um, information about the tournament as far as like extensions are concerned um, and other just uh, various information that you might need. Um, and also in that comment, leave what games you own as if you have X, Y, or Auras, okay? Because we're going to be organizing you by those names, uh, by those games as we uh, discussed earlier. And also another note on your Skype. Um, and YouTube. And YouTube for that matter. Don't change your name <laughs> mid-tournament because that just makes it hard for everybody involved. So if you can refrain from doing that, we greatly appreciate it. Yeah. Um, so that's all the logistical stuff. And we've got some very pretty graphics over here or over here. I don't know which side I'll be putting them on <laughs> to explain all this. And, but I'm sure you guys are wondering, are there presents? That there are indeed there presents. There are indeed presents. So there will be prizes for this tournament for first through fourth. Uh, fourth place will be getting, oh, one booster <laughs> pack, one Pokemon booster pack specifically. Um, that'll likely be from the most recent set uh, released at that time, or if you have a preference, you can let us know, and uh, maybe we can hook you up at that point. But yeah, fourth place prize yeah. is one booster pack. Third place is three booster packs. Exact same rules apply, um, so you will get a nice shiny booster pack that has been touched by us, because we're awesome. Mm. And uh, in the second place prize, we start digging into the cash prizes. Uh, $10 goes to the second place winner. Um, that'll likely be in the form of an Amazon gift card, because Amazon has everything. And first prize is, would you say this one with me, please? I would love to say this one with you. It is indeed $40. $40. $40, Four zero dollars, meaning a net cash prize worth $50 for this tournament, which is big, especially because we don't have buy-in, so you really lose nothing by signing up. Mm -hmm. Want to do the scheduling thing? I guess I can. So, <laughs> Alright, so something that we are doing um, in this tournament that is different from our previous tournaments is that we are going to schedule the time for your battles in both the pool play round and in the bracket round. Um, if you're familiar with the Smogon tournaments, this is kind of what they do there. Um, so basically we are going to actually set a time and a date in which you and your opponent are supposed to battle. Now, if you are not able to battle at that date and at that time, then work out a time that does work with your opponent, and then once you guys have come to an agreement, let us know so that we know when you're going to be doing your battle. However, if you guys don't let us know that you can't do your battle at that time and the battle doesn't happen at that time, then we're just going to assume that you guys both were inactive, um, and we're going to flip a coin, and the winner of that coin toss will move on to the next round. So it's very important that you keep us informed um, as to when your battle is going to take place. So, yeah. That's also why it's important that you guys give us your Skype info so we can have a group chat. Um, you guys will probably be muted in the group chat, so only Joel or I can actually talk in there. But all the names will be available so you can track down your opponents easily. Mm -hmm. um, so that is, that is pretty important if you, have, if you have Skype. If you don't, if you can get it, please do, because it's really how this whole community communicates. Um, okay, uh, on terms of teams, uh, we have no way of preventing teams gapping. We strongly, strongly just kind of look <laughs> down upon team scouting. You're kind of a jerk if you team scout. However, we have no way of preventing it. So my advice to you would be bring multiple teams, or have teams with variable sets, or just be be open to change. Because if someone does scout you, stupid fast saved him. If someone does scout you, there's really nothing you can do, and you're going to lose unless you're a little bit versatile. So yeah, um, and yeah, so you're not limited to one team for this tournament. Please bring as many teams as you see fit um, within the rules. Um, I think it's about the size of it. A uh, suggestion to you guys that also helps us out is you should subscribe to this channel if you're not already, so that you will see our updates on your dashboard on YouTube. 
so that you can see all of the updates and you can also see the content that we produce. We do make some really cool stuff and we do have some very, very cool segments coming out in the near future that I'm actually really happy about, one of which involves teaching you guys everything you need to know about Pokemon. Um, I'm super <laughs> excited about that. Fun. And yeah. In addition, um, even if you don't subscribe to us, we are going to be having our tournament update videos be the featured video of our channel. So all you have to do is click on our channel yeah. um, and it'll just be a big video image right there in the center of your screen. It'll be very easy for you to find. Um, but yeah, that's just an additional way to get the information you need. Yeah, and that said, that is not a substitute for subscribing to us. <laughs> we love your subscription. But. Um, <laughs> yeah, I think that's about the size of it, right? That is it. So, Token Minorities March Madness Tournament, second annual. All the registration info has been given here. Um, leave a comment if you want in with the attached information. And let us know if you have any questions. Exactly. Go to Twitch if you uh, twitch.tv forward slash the token minorities if you want to donate to our charity stuff uh, directly. Click that click that beautiful little wildfire and you can donate, you know, any amount of money and as much as your heart desires to uh, helping beat cancer, score a critical hit on cancer, I believe is the one that I've been <laughs> using. Um, I think is that about the size I believe that's about it. I think Wildfair. Would you like to sign us out, buddy? Say. Bye guys! Bye guys.